So let's have a look at outlining text quickly and easily in Affinity Designer using the Contour tool. <clears throat> now this is version 2 on the iPad, but the principles remain the same even on the desktop versions of Mac and Windows. Now let's get right to it. Open a blank canvas. Now I've got just a 6 by 4 inch canvas there. That's all you need to start with. Drag out some text. Make the text nice bold font. I'm using ZT Vulture Bold, but anything similar you can use. You'll notice it's a serif font with nice sharp serif edges on it. So to create an outline, we can use the contour tool. Located on the left side toolbar in my case, you might have moved yours somewhere, but I don't think so. And that's where it is. You can see I've got all the help options um, turned on there by holding down the question mark key on the bottom right hand side. That shows up all of your um, titles of your various tools. And there's the contour tool right in the top left. Third down actually. With your word highlighted, select contour. You'll see a control box appear around the text and a context toolbar on the left edge. Now that's very sensitive that little bar. Notice the little handle in the context toolbar. You can drag this up or down to either create an offset and I've used the top one there and I've put the offset to 0 0.05 inches and you can make that whatever you like pixels inches whatever in the settings I've just left it at inches that's small enough and you can see the offset around the blue line of the letters now if I move it down to 0 0 to create an inset I've actually got it to 0 0 3 0.03 But in order to use this to create an outline around our objects, we need to duplicate the object first. So it works with objects as well as text, remember. Select the bottom layer now. So we can see the new layer and its outline. Let's make the layer a red color so it's easy to see. Now, although it's red, you can't see it because its duplicate is still sitting on top of it at the moment. Now, with the contour tool selected, carefully drag the handle just to 0.05. You might have to actually type that in because the handle's very sensitive. You'll see the contour appear around the original text. And there it is, nice white border around the text. You can set this to an exact number by entering it in the context toolbar, and you can see that there. Notice the corners of the outline around but it would be nice to have them match the text. You don't want nice sharp text and round corners, so let's change the corners to match the text. In the context toolbar up the top, change the contour type to mitre. You can see I've got there contour mitre. Now we have nice sharp corners. If you select bevel, it will give you it gives you the corners a, a well a bevel shape which is not what we want so we'll go back to the mitre so we'll reset it to mitre now we have one hurdle to get over scaling the text or objects if you select the entire set of objects by dragging a group around the word and scale it down the outline remains the same that's not what we want at all we don't want a huge border around our small text. We want to preserve our original scaling. So let's go back to our original and draw the bounding box around it by dragging out over it. It selects the entire set. You can see in the layers panel both sets are selected there. Now select the contour tool again and in the edit toolbar select convert to curves. On another version, on the Windows version I believe it is, this was called Bake Appearance and in earlier versions of the iPad it's Bake Appearance. But it's actually con to, uh, Convert to Curves. This has the effect of changing the entire set to Curves. With the two layers selected, go to Edit, 
and ungroup all. This ungroups all the curves. As you can see, it takes the curves out of their two groups. Now, remember I spoke about size? Here's where it becomes important. See your text curves layer size is 5.6 inches by 1 inch. Let's say we want to reduce that to half its size, 2.8 to 0.5. Well, we have to scale the border outline as well. Otherwise, it looks downright ugly. Like that. Ugly. Ah, so let's fix it. Select only the red layer that makes up the outline. Select all the red curves, then select the contour tool. You can see the contour is still the original size. But as we halve the text size, we need to halve the outline or contour size. So half of 0 0.056 is 0 0.028. So let's change it. Much nicer. Now the outline looks scaled. Lovely. So that's it for this little tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the thumbs up for a like and the bell to be reminded when new videos appear. I really appreciate it.